Good day students, welcome to mathcodeserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to find the nth term of a geometric sequence. The instructions for the problems we are going to be solving are as follows. For the given sequence, determine if it is geometric or not. If it is, find the common ratio R, the next three terms, the specified term, the explicit formula or rule, and the recursive formula or rule. Okay, so for number one, let's consider the sequence 4, 8, 12, and 16. All right, so first question, is this sequence geometric or not? Now, geometric sequences involve generating terms by multiplying by a constant known as the common ratio, okay? So let's see if that is the case here. Now, you can figure this out just by inspection. You can ask yourself, what do I multiply 4 by to get to 8? Or you just simply divide 8 by 4. You multiply 4 by 2 to get to 8. Now, in order for this to be a geometric sequence, the next term has to be what you get by multiplying 8 by 2. So if you multiply 8 by 2, the next term should be 16, right? But what is this? This is 12. So um, what does that tell us? It tells us that this is not a geometric sequence. In order to get uh, 12 from 8, you have to multiply 8 by 3 over 2, okay? So we do not have a common ratio here, so that clearly that clearly shows that um, this is not a geometric sequence. Another way you can do this is you want to ask yourself, since we have four terms, is A2 divided by A1 equal to A3 divided by A2 equal to A4 divided by A3? You can uh, carry out this calculation to determine if it's a geometric sequence or not. So for example, if we compute A2 divided by A1, the second term, which is 8, divided by the first term, which is 4, you get 2. Okay? Now A3 divided by A2, the third term, 12, divided by the second term, 8. If you simplify that by dividing top and bottom by the GCF, which is 4, you end up with what? 3 over 2. Now, since 2 is not equal to 3 over 2, this is not a geometric sequence as we indicated earlier. Okay, so the answer for number one for the first part, not a geometric sequence. All right, because we do not have a common ratio for the terms provided. So that's that. Let's take a look at another example. Now, I'm going to pick the first two terms from number one, okay? So, we have four and eight. Now, what two more terms can I put here to make this a geometric sequence? Four, eight, 16, and 32, okay? Now, the first question is, is it geometric or not? Geometric or not? So we can do this by finding a common ratio of all the terms provided by pairing them up, or we can just um, figure it out by inspection, okay? So from 4 to 8, what do you have to multiply by? You multiply by 2, okay? From 8 to 16, what do you multiply 8 to 2 to get to 16? 2. What do you multiply 16 to to get to, to 32? Multiply it by 2. So what is the conclusion. Since we have a common ratio, this is a geometric sequence. Okay, so the sequence is a geometric sequence, okay, or is geometric. We can say it's geometric because we have a common ratio, all right, is geometric. All right, the next question the next part, we're to find what the uh, common ratio is. So let's write that down, common ratio. Now, how do you uh, compute the common ratio R? 
The common ratio R can be computed by dividing any term by the term next to it, before it. Okay, so you got to be careful there. So common ratio R can be determined by computing A2 over A1 or A3 over A2, any combination. So the main, the formula for the common ratio is a term, AN, divided by the term before it. How do you write that? The index of a term before AN is AN minus 1. Okay, so we can pick any term, uh, so this is not the first term, and divide it by the term before it. Okay, so how about we pick terms 3 and 2 for this example. So 16 divided by 8, what is your answer? 2. That's your common ratio. All right, next we're going to find the next three terms. Um, there is a piece of this problem I failed to put. Let's find um, A sub 10, okay? All right, so next we want to find the next three terms. Next three terms. Okay, so how do you find the next three terms of this uh, geometric series? We have 4, 8, 16, 32. So we have to figure out blank, blank, blank. All right, so what are the terms? All we simply have to do is multiply by the common ratio. 32 times two is 64. 64 times two is 128. And 128 times two is 256. So those are the next three terms, all right? Next, let's go ahead and find the specified term. In this case, we're looking for a 10. What is the 10th tenth, tenth term of this uh, geometric sequence? Now, uh, to find the nth term, we're going to be using the nth term formula of a geometric sequence. Let's write that down first. So the formula is um, formula is a sub n equals the first term a1 times r the common ratio raised to the n minus 1. Okay, so that was the formula for finding the nth term of a geometric sequence. Now, let's list what we know from the sequence. Um, we know a1, a1 is the first term, which is 4. Let me put the sequence in your view. A1 is 4. We have already determined what the common ratio is, which is 2. Uh, what is n in this problem? We're looking for the 10th term. So n is the position or the order of the term we're looking for. So n is 10. All right. So these are the known um, variables. We are looking for a sub n. In this case, is a sub 10, which is an unknown. Okay. Now let's go ahead and determine what um, a sub 10 is. So a sub 10 is equal to the first term, 4, times the common ratio of 2 raised to 10 minus 1. All right? So that is going to give us 4 times 2 raised to the ninth power. So the question is, if we were carrying out this computation by hand, or even with a calculator, are we to multiply 4 and 2 first, or raise 2 to the ninth power? What do you think? The first thing we're going to do is multiply 2, raise 2 to the ninth power. How do we know that? Remember your order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You do the grouping first, exponent and then multiply and divide at the same in the same hierarchy from left to right and then addition and subtraction from left to right so we see that exponentiation is way ahead of multiplication division addition and subtraction so we have to do the exponentiation first before we multiply okay but we're going to have our calculator uh, do this evaluate this product for us I'm going to be using the TI-89 to carry out the computation. So we have 4, parenthesis 2, exponentiation is uh, you use a caret button, raised to the ninth power, and our result is 2048. So that's the 10th term of the uh, 
geometric sequence. So A10 is 2048. All right, let's move on to the next part. All right, so what we're going to do next is uh, find the explicit formula or rule. So let's write it down, explicit formula. Or rule okay so to determine this all you simply do is um, plug in a1 and R into the geometric the nth term of a geometric sequence formula okay so just um, plug in plug in a1 and R into the formula all right which formula do I speak of I speak of the formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence, a n equals a1 r to the n minus 1. Okay, so that's the formula right here. We recall that a1 is what? The first term is 4, the common ratio is uh, 2, n is going to just stay as n. Alright, so our explicit formula or rule is equal to, is a n equal to the first term 4 times the common ratio of 2 raised to the n minus 1. Okay, so that's basically how you set up the explicit uh, formula for a geometric sequence if you know the first term and the common ratio. Last but not the least is to determine the recursive formula or rule. Let's write that down, recursive uh, formula or rule. Now for this one, um, you just have to write down the nth term, a n, and ask yourself, what do you do repeatedly to generate the terms of the sequence? You take the term before it, a n minus 1, and multiply it by the common ratio. In this case, the common ratio is what? 2. All right, so you just basically multiply a term before it by 2 to get the next term, okay? And then don't forget to indicate what the first term is in your recursive formula. First term is 4. So that's basically the recursive formula for uh, the geometric sequence under consideration. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial beneficial to you, do give, us a, give us a thumbs up. We will um, appreciate the positive feedback. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials such as this. If you have any questions or need clarifications on the concept we covered or any Algebra 2 Honors concept, just uh, ask your question in the comments section below and we will be glad to assist you at our earliest convenience. More clips can be found at mathgotserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.